jQuery mobile tutorials. Um, in these series of tutorials, I'm going to go over some of the features of uh, jQuery mobile. We will deep dive into some aspects of um, jQuery mobile and um, I'll try to give some examples to make it easier for you to understand some of the concepts. So let's get started. Um, in this 10 minute uh, video, I'm going to cover four main things. I'm going to go over what jQuery mobile is. Um, we're going to find out uh, what are the software we need to install on your computer to run jQuery mobile and we will install uh, Apache and then um, we'll get the jQuery mobile demos running on your computer and at the end we'll also write a hello world jQuery mobile app. All of the resources can be found in this um, short link tiny.cc learn jqm so I'll post the video and the slides um, so you can reference them anytime later okay so introduction jQuery mobile is a touch optimized uh, UI framework meaning it's used for mobile devices which we generally touch now even the tablets and the laptops are more and more ubiquitous and you can touch them on the screen but basically it's a touch optimized UI framework which is used for building mobile friendly sites um, which are very accessible uh, on most of the smartphone browsers, tablet browsers and desktop browsers. Most of the sites that are built right now are built for desktop web experience but we are seeing more and more mobile uh, adoption, more and more smartphones capable of doing a lot of things on the browsers on the uh, mobile device. So jQuery mobile helps us build a single app that runs on um, the browser web for the desktop and for the smartphone in a way that's much more accessible. So it uses two main technologies. First is the jQuery library, which is a very famous uh, JavaScript library, and it uses features for HTML5. Um, right. So we need a couple of things. We need a text editor. We need a specific version of jQuery. Um, and I'm going to be talking most of these features from jQuery Mobile 1.2.0. So it's compatible with jQuery 1.8.2. So not any version of jQuery will run with jQuery Mobile and vice versa. So let's make sure that you have a specific version of jQuery which is 1.8.2 and um, jQuery Mobile 1.2.0. So this is the latest as of um, December 2012, but you can find the latest combination on jQuerymobile.com and then you can use the right combination. But it's very critical that you use the right jQuery library with the, with the right jQuery mobile library. So we also need some kind of a web server to serve your website. I'm going to be installing um, Apache web server and uh, we'll use the Chrome web browser to test uh, Chrome or Safari or you know Firefox to use we'll use it to test our code and we'll use the Xcode iOS simulator to test that our site is working fine on the mobile device so those are the pieces of software that we need so let's get starting let's get started with installing Apache so there are a bunch of steps that you need to do to install Apache I have a tiny blog that you can go over for the steps to install Apache. Um, it's called uh, tiny.cc install Apache. That'll take you to this uh, blog entry. Um, for installing Apache on your computer, you'd have to do a bunch of things. Uh, first of all, you'd have to install Xcode so that it gets the C compiler then you have to install some command line tools in Xcode um, uh, which can be done via the preferences, downloads, command line tools. Once you install the command line tools um, you also need to install the PCRE poll compatible regular expressions. So there are commands on how to download and install PCRE. Once you install PCRE 
you can install Apache with these commands. So basically to install Apache you need to follow these things. So Apache is a normal web server. If you already have Apache on your proxy then you don't, you don't need to do all of this, right? So that's how we install Apache. There are a bunch of small things that you, you'd come across and problems and there are solutions to each one of them here uh, on installing Apache. So that's how you would install Apache. Um, and then as I said, in this screencast, we're going to work specifically on jQuery Mobile 1.2.0 version. Um, so let's go ahead and download jQuery Mobile 1.2.0. So you can download it at jQuerymobile.com slash download. And at the bottom of the page, you'll find the link that says um, zip file. So I've downloaded this zip file on my local computer. Uh, here. So that's the zip file. In the content uh, of the zip file, I've unzipped it here. So I'll just do a fine jQuery model. You'll see that it has a lot of things, right? It has demo documents, it has libraries, it has images and stuff. But um, we need only three things we need the CSS, we need the JS for jQuery mobile and we need a specific version um, of jQuery so um, which is here so this is a specific version of jQuery which is 182 so it gets bundled into that zip file um, so once you download and unzip that folder you need to and, and you follow the instructions to install Apache, you'd have this folder htdocs under user local Apache. So you can create a folder, I created the folder called YTube which is YouTube and then J jQuery and, um, and then you can move all your zip files here. Once you do that uh, and you start your Apache web server, you should be able to go to um, localhost, the folder name and um, the path. So it will be jQuery mobile, which is same as this, right? So you can navigate within it and then you can see the demo. So that's on your local box, you can see the installation of jQuery mobile. It has a lot of examples in that you can go through. Uh, we're going to go to the first example in this uh, screencast. So now we've got Apache Web Server installed after you follow through this blog, and then we have installed jQuery Mobile 1.2.0 and then put it inside of your Apache box. Right? Step four, let's write a Hello World app. So our Hello World app consists of um, a very small snippet of code that looks like this. We're gonna go over each part in detail. So the first part is the doc type HTML. This is HTML5 doc type. As I said before, jQuery Mobile uses a lot of uh, HTML5 features for it to work. So we indicate that this document is HTML5 doc type. Um, there's this special meta tag, uh, and I can show you in demo what this tag does later. It's called the viewport meta tag. It's responsible for setting the current uh, device width of the mobile device um, so that uh, it scales. Uh, most of the websites are built for the browser experience so you generally don't need this but what this does is um, it scales the website so that the pixel width on the screen is equal to the device width um, so it's easier for the browser to for the reader on the mobile device using the mobile browser to read the page it'll be more clear once i show you a demo of what this uh, viewport tag does then it comes the style sheet we have to apply the style sheet the very first thing in the head. Um, then we install the dependency, which is the then we then we uh, we use jQuery 182. So uh, it comes before jQuery Mobile. So the order here is very important. jQuery Mobile depends on jQuery, so jQuery should be first. Right now I'm referencing all of these files of of a CDN, but you can reference all of them from your local box from the zip file that you've created. 
So that covers the files and the dependencies. Now we're going to build a page. So our page in general will look like this, right? It has a my title, it has a hello world, um, and it looks like this in a mobile device. So let's go over this. So we use this HTML5 data attributes um, that's used by jQuery mobile to enhance the page um, progressively, meaning it'll look at all of these data role attributes and then add custom JavaScript logic on top, custom CSS logic on top. So we specify certain standard things like data role page, which is a group of items that go in a page construct, and then we have the header data role, and then we have the content data role, and we also have something similar called footer data role. So this tells this this marker tells jQuery mobile framework to enhance the look and feel of your HTML. So the site will look something like this. As you said, we've, as you see, it has some gray background. It has a black uh, theme for the header. It has the right font, which is a little different. This all happens because we included the right uh, CSS and then the J and the right JavaScript framework to build on top. So that's the output on a web browser. I'm using Firefox here on a desktop, and I'm also I checked it out on the phone, and it looks like this. As you see, um, it is the the website is scaled on the phone, meaning it's not too small. The user can really see it. So let's check it out in um, in um, in action. So this is this is on the mobile device. As you see, this page has it's hardly visible, right? You can hardly read the text here. This is because I've removed the viewport meta tag. Now let's go ahead and add that viewport meta tag. So let's do I've commented out the viewport meta tag to show you how the site looks, right? And it looks like this. You can't read the text. Now let's go ahead and delete our comment, meaning add back the viewport. Once I add that, and then I refresh, see, the title is more visible, the font is more visible. So that's the role of the viewport. And um, generally, most of the websites, they don't look so great because they're not scaled correctly. The viewport takes care of this, and then the library takes care of the custom backgrounds, like fonts that are more visible. That's why it's more geared toward mobile, and at the same time, it works really well on the desktop. So that was the demo of how it looks. Right, right. so let's uh, recap of what we did. We learned about what jQuery Mobile is. It's a touch-optimized web framework for writing UI applications for mobile devices in a much more friendlier way, so that the user doesn't... Um, well, so the developers don't have to write the same code twice at the same time it's usable on the web on the mobile device and we specifically understood that there's a dependency on jQuery library and that the jQuery library should come before the jQuery mobile library in the import statement we also learned about the viewport meta tag on how it scales the screen so that the user doesn't have to you know zoom in um, we learned about custom HTML data data attributes um, which the, the library uses to progressively enhance the UI and we also verified how our code looks in the browser and the iOS device. So um, if you have any questions um, you can post them on this uh, video. I'll be posting one video regularly every week. Um, in the next video tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, jQuery mobile UI elements, lists, slides and buttons and uh, I'll be posting the slides uh, shortly today. And, um, Happy coding. See you next week. Thanks.